What's up guys, today I'm at the AGM Expo 19. I'm Lucy, this is Dale. Hi. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at all the awesome designers in this space. How many have we got? 59. What, furniture, lighting? And accessories. Love it, multidisciplinary design. Rolls off the tongue. Definitely. Let's do it. So AGM stands for Annual General Meeting. We're putting together the show. We, we started to think about who the stakeholders are in exhibitions like this. And we realized the major stakeholders in an exhibition are actually the exhibitors. So we decided to think that AGM is the annual shareholder meeting of the Australian design community in one space at one time. And this is the second? Second show. So last year we had 41 exhibitors. This year we decided to go public with our submissions. And this year we have 59 exhibitors. That's amazing. Yeah, Can I walk on it and yeah. sit on it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, a lot of the furniture you can't sit on, but uh, some of it is really. Oh my made god, to be that's so on. good. It was designed by Tom Skehan of Skehan Studio with yeah. Stellan, so they're based in Canberra for Lane Crawford. Yeah. I was sitting on this bad boy and then I was nervous I wasn't allowed to sit on him. Who did this one? <laughs> this is Timothy Robertson. So Timothy Robertson's also from Canberra. QR codes, no names, was that strategic? Yeah, so because it's all kind of 90s space themed, QR codes are now native to iPhones. So yep. if you go to camera on your phone, it'll just and then you check it, it'll go straight to the website of the person. Do you know that I didn't even know that? I was opening <laughs> up my QR app. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like recently, an idiot. I think <laughs> Tom Faraday Studio Kiss. So Tom. Ah. So these actually looked out. So that's. This I was is, gonna say. Have a, these are little vases. Oh my god. So you can pull them right out. That is clever. Yeah. Are there a few collaborations like that here today? There's a lot of collaborations in okay. here. Like AGM's really about getting people together to work yeah. together, and so. Yeah. Part of what we were talking about yesterday is that like the true part of AGM is the bump in when there's you know 12, 20, yeah. 30 people here <laughs> yeah. talking the beers and hanging out. Exactly. It's like that really is the How true... did the bump in go? Well, let's not talk about it. <laughs> uh, kind of... I need to know about this. This is Kathleen Prentice, who's a really young designer based in Melbourne. Um, so this is a, a flocked donut. It is uh, a flocked donut. A flocked donut? Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. It actually... makes me want to touch it and also hungry. Can you sit in that? <laughs> yeah, I'm sad in that. You know, how much more oh comfortable do you need to be? Oh my god, that is really quite fun and yeah, you can yeah. sort of like rancho in on a bit as yeah. if you are in a pool. I believe this is all waste clay. These Hang are tables or, and these are additions about... to the tables, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, they're beautiful. I just like this. I just <laughs> want to have it. I do. This is like a standalone object. Yeah, it's really tactile. It's got mm -hmm. such lovely um, it's details kind of, to it. Like it's left a little raw as well so it feels like, like it touches like timber yeah. not like plastic or in a world. Melbourne based? Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, present. Um, I also like how you've got trinkets, mm -hmm. vessels, sculptures on other pieces of artwork and how you've styled them. Mm -hmm. um, I met Ryan who designed yeah, this great. chair. He is fantastic. so nice. And this is his first chair, which oh, I thought it? was pretty cool. Yeah, right. yeah. I think yeah. the really great thing about people who are working on their first things generally doesn't look like anything else. So yeah. like the foam wood chair doesn't look like any other chair. Ryan's yeah. chair, Amy Simpson's glass lights it doesn't look so like great. anyone else's I know. Glass. Amy Simpson's incredible. She's a really young stained glass artist. It's so incredibly unique because it's this kind of artistic practice. And I think the thing I was so interested in is stained glass, such an old, old art. Yeah. But when I found out there was this young female working within this space, I couldn't oh, help but really so... want to get her to produce more work. So Daniel Barbera, um, Daniel's quite amazing at what he does. So that table has been cast. Incredibly heavy, two people can lift it, wow. but that's just one cast piece. It's like two wishbones. Yeah. Three wishbones, so to speak. I think he said this is the longest single span table he's ever produced. So this yeah. is EV Group, so they're based in Sydney. Mm -hmm. But these that. are all stackable, so these come off. Ah, and then you can also like you wear them as like bangles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tom, this is Lucy and Jonathan. Oh, hi. Hey, sorry, I'm All just right. accessorizing. <laughs> nice right. to meet you. That's, That's Tom. Tom's desk lamp, which he took to Milan this year. That's, I think, my most favorite place in here. Really? Mm. So Tom's... I shall be sure to tell Tom. <laughs> Tom's sister conveniently is a glass blower. So I think last year they launched their first collection collaborating, so brother and sister collaborating on work. And this was the updated version, or a separate version to last year's lamp, which That's is just beautiful. amazing. Was it good working with your sister? It was amazing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she's really talented. And, yeah. Any other brothers and sisters we should know about? This is Danielle Brisbane. So Danielle's predominantly an interior designer. She's one of okay. six top interior or architecture interior Ooh. firms to produce for the rig designers. It's the there Australia's largest design competition. Yeah. It happens every three years. 
There's a lot of disciplines in here. Generally we try not to say designers, a lot of yeah. the time we say participants or exhibitors and especially the, the kind of key term is creative exhibitors or mm. creative participants because there's a lot of people who define themselves as craft people or yeah. designers mm. business, or artists. Well, you're an industrial designer, I'm a graphic designer. I mean, which one would you say is <laughs> far more superior? I think I'm an, <laughs> I think I'm an event planner. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Last year we had 41 participants. We added, Look at you guys. That guys. filled the room. <laughs> We added 18 more this year. Why is everyone coming to you guys? I feel like we have wholesome offering. Yeah, it's just yeah. a really honest approach to sort of showing your product, you know, and we're, we're very transparent about the way we run it and we, you know, we rely on you know, everyone to pitch in. And I recognise these, Jimmy James. It certainly is. So this is James's first furniture piece. They're as crazy as he is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to undress myself in front of the camera. Yes! You want me to do yeah, something? Yeah, do something. Okay, come on then. Oh! These are my stools, that's why I'm here. So they're made of ceramic, they're high fired stoneware. Yeah. 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 Liam Fleming. So Liam Fleming is a young glass floor from the Jam Factory in Adelaide. And then we yeah. also have Melbourne Design Week. So there are Design Canberra, there's yes. also Design Sydney, but I think Melbourne has the right culture yeah. to bring kind of communities together for these events. People like to come out and do go to parties in Melbourne, whereas they feel not so much in other states. Do you think that's true? I kind do of we feel party like better I've, in I've Melbourne. I've thrown parties in other states and I feel like in they Melbourne. They know I come. <laughs> you know when you post an Instagram post and you've got a thousand people. I feel like if you do that in other states, you'll, if that it's raining, true. they won't come to the party. So this is Adam Woodrum, so if you oh, have Adam's name, you famous. should. Yeah. 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 Adam is the true essence of a friends and associates. Has he checked out a lot of the other works as well? Yeah, he was here setting up yesterday. He moved oh. all these groups. Do you have a favourite piece, either of you? We can't is that like yeah, picking a favourite favor. child? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> sure. The way that we judge work as well is based on personalities. You guys are like a modern day design Brady Bunch. <laughs> I love it. you guys mate or how Absolutely long have you no guys idea. known yeah, each no other? Idea. Small industry. Yeah. yeah. And you know we've always been aware of each other's work and I think we both saw that there was a time where we needed to as independent designers kind of stand up for ourselves and push back a little bit onto some of the more commercial that. ventures that happen in Australia. Yeah. I feel like the design generational thing we felt like yeah. we weren't the young designers anymore and it felt like we should be doing something for the young designers. Oh I love it. Yeah. yeah. The patron saints of yeah. design. Yeah yeah for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I shall coin you that yeah. forever. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> So this is Thomas Coward and Nick Rennie. They collaborated on this table. So this table is a piece of broken stone. And what am I sitting on? So this is also Thomas Coward and Nick Rennie. Very well established designers in Australia. Yeah. I can obviously sit there. Yeah, these guys look like they can handle it. Do you want to take a seat? Yeah. So this is CJ's from Queensland. He was lucky enough to show in Milan this year. Really? So he took these over to Milan. Ooh, so um, these are super famous. How does a new designer get themselves into a show at Milan? Your work. Going to different events, you know, linking up with conversations, yeah. talking to her on the gram, all of that sort of builds your profile and gets you in. That's the thing, isn't it? You just gotta be part of a network. Yeah, just be a human. And I think like this whole industry is built on collaboration and the people who genuinely have kind of made it and cut through have been helped by someone above them. Yeah. And so I think by opening it up to the sharing and showing that next generation of designers that you just have to be really transparent and yeah. just do good work. And so what's this show all about? Who is it for? The show is really for everyone. So, I mean, we have incredible architecture firms coming through, interior designers, but really it's also for the general public to come through and see what's happening within contemporary Australian design. This really is uh, it's reminding me of a movie I watched when mm. I was young and I can't quite place it and my mm. thinking like never ending story. Probably. Labyrinth. I'm Probably. Just sort of yeah, I love it. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is all hand sculpted. So although you are using plywood, which is a very industrial commercial material, it comes in flat mm. sheets. But then, you know, by laminating it up and then sort of hand That's shaping really in conversations. This is Molly Younger, so this is yeah, latex. This is the first lighting piece I'm going to say from Molly. Molly's yeah. a fashion designer. So oh my god, that back. feels so good. So this one has just taken a cast, made a mold of the ceiling rose. So this is a oh. ceiling rose. Ooh, Ooh, so okay. if you flatten these out, it's actually a ceiling it. rose. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, it's incredibly beautiful. Yeah, and you wouldn't expect it to have this sort of movement to it. This is actually Dow Jones, so Adam and I produced this for Milan this year. What <laughs> the hell is Australian <laughs> design? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's my it's next question. question. What yeah, is yeah. Australian design? So, what's well, oh, that Oh my god, I'm getting down on yeah. the map. Whose piece is this? So Damien Wright. So Damien is an incredible craftsperson. Wow, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I've just never seen it in life. Cool. <laughs> I don't even know how it makes me feel. Careful on that Friday night. Oh, I feel like yeah. someone's gonna serve it. it. <laughs> Jono might serve it. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Tom, what animal is this? Unicorn. It's a unicorn? Oh my god, my favourite! They're all like hand stitched, there's over 100 hours in each chair. The mustard one's over in the other space. I like this much, Lee, Tom. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what this actually is? Not specifically, we don't know. I know that it's no be. longer alive, it's, yeah. but it's alive in our hearts. It's all solid, it's solid to know. That's amazing. It's really it's just that incredible. is really simple, yeah. but one of those like things where you look at abstract art and you're like, why didn't I do that? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. could have done that, but then I also probably put and that's what Hugh does, like he's really incredibly good yeah. at talking to materials and, lead, and kind of allowing them to have their, kind of what Damien does. I love it, he's good at has... talking to materials. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, How does one talk to materials? Materials have personalities, mm -hmm. they talk They back. do. What's your favourite material? Oh, I don't know. Favourite I'm... material? Timber, yeah. Favourite I'm... material? Uh, I'm reading to... Oh, Tom got <laughs> it, Tom got the game. Yeah, but also Timber. <laughs> Well, let's um, think, do people come to you with their designs or a bit of both? Bit of both? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This year was the first year we took submission. How do I get into this show next year? If I look at this video and I'm like, do you know what? I, mm. I, want, I want to know these guys. Mm. We get a lot what? of Instagram DMs. So <laughs> send us a DM. Yeah. Insta DM. Well, well do you know yeah. what? That's like the deal now. Isn't it? <laughs> so these are actually quite incredible. This is slumped glass. What does that mean? You lay glass over a mold and then you heat it in a kiln and it, and it sags. Oh, yeah. wow. So this is laid over. Different materials so I think oh, one of these Oh I didn't stone. even I thought that was almost yeah, one yeah. piece oh amazing yeah, they're singular. Yeah. This chair was designed by Christina Brickman she's now a, a Melbourne based female designer. This is fun. I like the fact that she also did it in red. I like her style. They're also designed to be oh, you know, wow. raw so you can just yeah. have them flat steel. That's that's really nice. Yeah. And that's nice because then you can switch out your upholstery with your mm -hmm. do a bit of contrast. Yeah. It's a BMDO. Imagine producing a it's chair. It's a magic carpet, right? <laughs> Imagine producing a chair <laughs> and then placing a rug on it. Oh my god. It's a really unique concept to take. So sorry, who did this? BMDO. So two BMDO. Melbourne designs. I don't even know, like, I'm trying to think about how she's even got. I know. Like, I don't even understand. Yeah, we, so, we like, this know. I can kind of, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Eh, but then I'm like, no, it's I don't understand. perfectly it. balanced, you yeah. know, visually, mm. as well as structurally. Yeah. And yeah. you do just want to touch it. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It's really yeah. heavy. Is it? Yeah. I'm not touching it. Surprisingly heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jonathan West is an amazing maker. So he's based up in Sydney. Oh, it smells new. Oh, also, oh, these are beautiful. Duncan Beauty. Oh, they, they're so, really, really special. So Duncan's quite amazing. Duncan's based in Tasmania. And he's oh, it's Tassie Dun boy. Duncan's like blind. him. What? Duncan's blind. So Duncan is incredible. So he's a blind designer. How does that work? Well, That's amazing. But I guess the incredible thing about what he can do with timber is that because he's lost the sense of sight, it means that he has this incredible feel of texture. Oh which my means that goodness. He can do these incredible things with timber that maybe goes vision can't do. I've and got that. chills. Yeah, yeah. Like that's, these are beautiful yeah. and they're just perfect. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, ama that's an amazing story. Yeah. If you work within design in Australia and you don't know Ross, then you probably don't know design because then Ross you just is get out. Ross get out. <laughs> <laughs> is it just Ross? It's Ross Garner. Ross Garner. Not like shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, this rug, I, this is really beautiful as well, mm. and they also did the other rugs. They've done all the rugs, yeah. So yeah. They're all there, Emma Elizabeth, and it's all designer rugs. Well, I think from this, walking through, chatting to you guys, there's not a lot of intimidation. Whereas I think sometimes when you have this beautiful aspirational design, do you mm. think people can be intimidated by it or anything? No, I think this show is not supposed to be intimidating at all. Very clear that we're, I think, quite yeah, human mm. and we're open about the way we run things and that it's open to the public. It's about spreading you know, design awareness you know, and our manufacturers and all the people that we're working with in Australia. Bloody awesome! Bring her in. Thank you. Awesome. That was amazing. That was so, so good. Yeah, we lost one.